Welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready for the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It's Real Madrid up against Inter. Well, I can't wait for this one, Derek. It's all set up for a really good game. Real have the lead, but I think this is going to be a really close tie today. Played in there by Danny Carvajal. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Kepa stands between the posts. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal in the full-back positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Not the best clearance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And a look at the Inter team. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Hakan Chalanolu plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, if you're looking for a player to take any game by the scruff of the neck, look no further than Vinicius Junior, top quality. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. But it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Nice weight on the pass. And a poor ball. Alessandro Bastoni. Barella. The ball back with Real now course making quite a bit of progress not a touch off the defender last of all so a corner and there's the delivery Alessandro Bastoni Barella has it Real Madrid coming away with it. Augusto. Varela. Turan. Now with Varela. It might still be problematic. Well, no way through in the end. Rodrigo. Into regaining possession. And a chance to whip it in here. And the goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Sloppy in possession from Inter. Chalanolu. And Carvajal untidy in possession there. Tony Kroos. Real find themselves in a position of menace. It's defending at its very finest. And space to cross it. Out of play in a Real Madrid throw-in coming up. Carvajal. That's not a bad ball. Not all that convincing defensively. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. Is this the moment? It's still alive. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. 
Vinicius Junior. And clears his lines. Excellent defending. Carvajal. And they're almost inviting them to come at them. And the ball taken forward by Tony Kroos. He has options around him. It might be. And it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Agumé given away by Inter Mendy crossing possibilities and caught with ease no real threat from the cross So deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Chouameni is with Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior on to Valverde. Real Madrid have given it away. Marcus Tuham. The ball with Martinez. Able to skip past his man. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Quadrado. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Given away by Real Madrid. Carlos Augusto. Good looking cross. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Federico Di Marco. Di Marco. Barella. And he could really get at the opposition. Nicely blocked by Kroos. Clear deflection off the defender there. Well, they fancy a short one. Well, let's see about the cross. And another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Trying to pick out a teammate. No nonsense piece of defending. And the cross goes in. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Tony Kors. A very effective challenge put in. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And a decent save, full credit. Oh, did well to skip through. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Now we're into the final half hour.
Rodrigo. On to Valverde. Will he find the net? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So, 2-0 now. To Ram. The ball with Martinez. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, he's certainly not alone. He fancies it. Still could be dangerous. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. And they're making a change. Federico Valverde. Tony Kors. And back to Bellingham. And quick thinking defensively. Chalanolu. Kroos. And Kroos failed to hold it. Francesco Acerbi. The ball with Martinez. Into recovering possession well. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Martinez Manera Zuri regaining possession Chalanolu Utterly disappointing cross Goal kick Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card Valverde Vinicius Junior and he could cash in and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment well as the replay shows us Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect and then through on goal, it just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Chalanoru. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, then there to tidy up. Vinicius Junior. It's with Chalanolu. Martinez. Good tackle. Jude Bellingham Mendy five minutes left Martinez Martinez Pavard it's 
still alive. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Vinicius, and the decision is one of offside here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Real Madrid couldn't maintain possession. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Varela. Modric. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. The referee's whistle, full time it is, and Real Madrid are the side who move on. Well, you can't say they didn't deserve it. They were by far and away the better team over the two legs, and the result was never much in doubt. I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next round, but they'll be full of confidence off the back of that performance. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.